All right, so you're most likely here because you need instructions on installing the ink for the Epson EcoTank 5800 bottled ink. And what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be showing you how to install bottled ink into an ink tank. So the first ink we're gonna be using is Black Ink 542. I'm gonna be linking down in the description below some remanufactured versions of this ink. And it's gonna be a lot less expensive. It's gonna be pigmented ink, so you're not gonna have an issue with using it and you're just gonna save yourself a whole lot of money by going that route. So all you really have to do is flip the bottle upside down, match it up with the pattern that's on the bottle with what's on the ink nozzle compartment at the top of the tank, and you're just gonna let the ink flow. It's going to guzzle it down, and you're not gonna have any leftover ink in a bottle that's about this size. It's actually going to take up all the ink, and it's going to actually totally totally empty out that bottle once that bottle is totally emptied out uh, then you can finally remove it I would move it around don't squeeze but you can move it around in that motion that I just did now you do want to be gentle with these bottles you don't want to be rough with them because it, damage can occur with the nozzle or with the bottle you don't want to squeeze the bottle just be gentle when you're doing this you know, go a little bit slower than you normally would when you're installing something and you're going to be totally fine so here you can see the yellow ink bottle and it's got its own specific pattern we're going to lift up the tab for the yellow ink and you're going to be installing it flip it right upside down and as you can see there just like that the ink does not spill out so you can slowly do this you don't have to rush it you don't have to press it in really hard it's gently that you're putting it in there and the ink as you can see now here with this clip you're actually seeing the ink that's being sucked down into the ink compartment into the ink tank and that's exactly what needs to happen this happens very quickly this specific printer takes ink very quickly once it's totally done you can move it around gently in a circular motion the top of the bottle or you can kind of wiggle it, but don't squeeze it. If this video ends up being helpful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. If you have any questions at all about this process, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, let's move on to the next color, which is magenta. You can install these in any, any order that you would like. It doesn't really matter. Uh, at the end of the day, you do have to install all of the colors. You cannot print with just black, for example, or just colors. You do have to have every single color that is on there installed so that you can actually use the printer. It will bug you with an error code, with a maintenance code on the home screen if you do not install all of the ink or if it's running too low. So you also want to keep these full. So keep some extra ink on hand. Again, link down in the description below for some remanufactured versions of this ink. You can also get the OEM Epson ink from that link as well. Now this is a much easier process, in my opinion, than installing ink cartridges. Ink cartridges, there's a whole process, it takes a lot more patience. With ink bottles, I do feel that it's easier, it's simpler, and you get a lot more prints with just one bottle of ink than you do with one ink cartridge. If you've ever seen the inside of an ink cartridge, it does not have much space in there. But an ink bottle has, it's pure ink. It's you can see exactly what it is that you're putting into the printer. Let me know down in the comments section if you're a fan of the ink bottles or if you prefer ink cartridges. And, and tell me why, because I'd really like to know. Now the way this ink system works is this ink tank is gonna hold the ink and there are veins that go to the print head. And so it's a mechanism where you don't have to have the ink directly attached to the print head, which is how ink cartridges work. You can actually have the ink off to the side and have tubing and have them go to the print head and get filled up with the ink that they need. Actually, there are makeshift ink cartridges. So there are ink cartridges, they just are empty and this ink tank pushes into them and that is how the print head actually functions. So it's, it's a similar system, it's just adding an extra step, but it's a step that really makes a big difference at the end of the day. So once you've installed all your ink, you do want to go through some prompts. If you're just setting this up and you're unboxing the printer for the first time, then it's going to be a little different. You're, want, you're going to want to go through all the setup. Uh, but if you are already set up and you're installing the ink, then all you would have to do is go to maintenance and select the option for you to fill the ink. You're going to click OK for a certain amount of time. You're going to hold it down and then 
you're going to proceed, 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 and that is going to initiate the setup for the ink, and the ink system now is going to be able to take that ink and actually start using it. So hopefully this got you set up. Hopefully this video helped you get your printer to the point where you can actually start printing. Again, I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.